Hey, this is Aaron Syme from WebRTC Ventures. Welcome back to WebRTC Tips. Just want to share with you a little bit of interesting news in uh, today's tip from the uh, Twilio Signal Conference, which uh, happens every year. Uh, and this year in 2020, when we're recording this, of course, it was virtual, like every event is this year uh, while we're in the pandemic. Uh, but also, uh, because of the pandemic and all of the growth in WebRTC this year, there are certainly a lot of interesting announcements happening this year as well. And uh, Twilio did not disappoint with that at the Signal Conference. So we're going to talk a little bit today about what they announced called WebRTC Go and an interesting uh, free offering, which uh, might be uh, suitable for your use case. So we'll talk uh, briefly about that today. So what, what is uh, Go? Well, it's a new offering from Twilio's had a video offering for a long time now, uh, but this WebRTC Go solution is a way for Twilio users to build and run one-to-one -one video apps for free. We've got the link here on the site, uh, on, on the page, and we'll put it in the uh, description below for their blog announcement where you can go and learn more about what does this exactly mean. Uh, but let's talk through a little bit of what it means. Uh, the blog post, uh, they talk about it being a one-on-one -on -one experience in their um, web, Android, and iOS SDKs. So if you're familiar with using Twilio for some of their uh, other APIs that they're more well-known for around messaging, SMS, texting, uh, Twilio's known for having easy to use APIs, SDKs, with uh, great documentation and uh, large development community. So it's, they've been known for a long time for building in that sort of messaging and communications into all sorts of applications. They've had a video offering uh, and they're trying obviously to take advantage of the interest, uh, the increased interest in live video in WebRTC applications in 2020 with this announcement as a way to give their developers a free, uh, at least within some limits, uh, but uh, potentially depending on your use case, a free solution that you can use to get up and running with WebRTC a little simpler. So looking at some of the finer points in that uh, blog post, there's two key points to note here. The first is that this is for one-on-one -on -one uh, meetings only. So this is a peer-to-peer -to -peer topology. So in WebRTC, what the uh, most simple ways that we tend to talk about WebRTC is a peer-to-peer -peer connection between two users. And that's the uh, limit that you can do here with this WebRTC Go offering from Twilio Video. If you need a uh, group chat, the topology for that becomes more complex. WebRTC is a little harder to scale. we we'll talk about that in other videos uh, in this series series of uh, WebRTC tips and uh, the expenses and the complexity go up with group chat versus a one-on-one -on -one chat. So because they're making this a free offering, it's only for peer-to-peer, one-to-one video chats. It's not really going to be the right solution for you, at least as a free solution in group chats. They do have other offerings. Uh, if you need more than one-on-one -on -one video, you can do that with a paid service uh, through Twilio as well. And uh, the other aspect of this is that they're including a turn server for free. So there have been uh, plenty of uh, other ways that you can do uh, WebRTC for free, quote unquote, uh, in the past with an open source library to um, do that peer-to-peer, one-to-one connection. But you still needed a stun and turn server, the turn server being the more expensive of that, because as we've talked about in other videos, it helps us to relay traffic. Uh, in this case, Twilio is giving you a turn server also for free as part of this plan up to 25 gigabytes of usage per month which they describe as averaging out to about a hundred thousand participant minutes per month a little hard to predict because you don't always know exactly how much turn usage you're going to need depends on the users and the networks that they're on uh, but still that's great to have a decent amount of usage there uh, for uh, for for still free so this might be a great thing to use in your use case. 
And uh, so, yeah, let's just uh, drill in a little bit because that, that turn part is interesting. As we've mentioned in other videos in this WebRTC TWIP uh, tip series, uh, stun and turn are two of the most uh, common things that you need to add on if you're uh, to a WebRTC architecture. Even if you are doing just simple one-on-one -on -one peer to peer connections, you still need a stun server to uh, identify the IP addresses to establish that direct peer to peer connection. And then sometimes that's going to fail due to firewalls, network settings, and so a turn server is basically used as a backup to that and as a way to relay that traffic directly between the two peers when a peer-to-peer -peer connection cannot be established. It, it routes, routes that traffic around them. Uh, and so this is kind of a diagram that we've used before in this series to, to explain what that means when the user is trying to connect peer-to-peer -to, -peer to the other, but a firewall or something prevents that then a turn server still allows for the relay of that traffic around the firewall. And so that turn server adds cost to your solutions because it has to actually carry the traffic. So if, if we were always able to establish a peer-to-peer -peer connection with a stun server, then one-to-one -one WebRTC would be basically free <laughs> because all of the traffic, uh, all of the burden of that video and audio and data traffic is being done peer-to-peer -peer directly between those two browsers. It doesn't go through your servers at all. But when you need to relay through a turn server, that turn server is taking on the burden of that traffic. So that's why Twilio is still putting a limit of that traffic on here for you. But still, that turn part is the key part of this because as I said, you could use other uh, open source solutions to uh, get away from the complexity of building directly to the WebRTC standard, and that's part of what Twilio is promoting in this. But there are other ways you could do that without Twilio. Uh, so what's really key about this announcement is that they are including that turn service for free as well. So this is a very strategic announcement for them. I think it's a very smart offering that Twilio is making. It would be a great way for uh, people who are just experimenting with WebRTC to be able to get a professional service on top of a commercial platform set up pretty quickly using good APIs. Uh, and so it's a nice way to get developers kind of hooked on Twilio uh, and pull them away from some of the new competitors in the space like Amazon and Microsoft who are entering the CPaaS space as well as the other more established CPaaS vendors like Vonage and Agora. And this is a way for Twilio to encourage those developers to use Twilio. Um, but it does have those limitations of being one-to-one -one only and the limited turn server. But of course, I'm sure that they're hoping that once you uh, start to use their APIs and build your application around them, you're not going to want to switch to something else, even as your use case gets more complicated or as your usage grows. So if you know right out of the gates that you need group chat, then you do need to look at a paid service. This is not going to work for you. But there's still, uh, still a really nice um, offering for you to consider here. So if you want to learn more about that, go check out Twilio.com. They've got this post up on their blog about it. Uh, they just announced this at the Signal Conference, so I'm sure there will be um, more information coming out about it soon. And we'd be happy to help you with that as well. You can contact us at webrtc.ventures slash contact, and we'd be happy to talk to you about building your custom web application as well. So thanks again for joining us for this installment of WebRTC Tips. Reach out to us. We'd be happy to take your application live. Have a great day.